closure, interior and boundary of a set in a topological space and a non-trivial problem. In this video, we discuss a non-trivial problem concerning the closure and interior of a set in a topological space. We begin with some prerequisites. Throughout this discussion, X denotes a topological space and A, B denote two subsets of X. What is the closure of A in X? It is the smallest closed subset of X containing A and it is denoted by A bar. Clearly, A equals its closure if and only if A is closed in X. Equivalently, A closure is the intersection of all closed subsets of X containing A. That is, A closure can be written like this, intersection of K, where K runs through the family of all closed subsets of X containing A. What is the interior of A in X? It is the largest open subset of X containing A and it is denoted by writing a small circle on the top of A. Clearly, A equals A interior if and only if A is open in X. Equivalently, A interior is the union of all open subsets of X contained in A. That is, A interior can be written as union of O, where O runs through the set of all open subsets of X contained in A. It is not difficult to see that the family of all closed subsets of X containing A equals the set of all K such that K complement belongs to the family of all open subsets of X contained in A complement and the family of all open subsets of X contained in A equals the set of all O such that O complement belongs to the set of all closed subsets of X containing A complement where A complement equals X minus A. I am using the word family and sets uh, interchangeably. Okay. So I suppose there is no problem as such. The following facts can be verified easily. Complement of A closure equals interior of A complement and complement of A interior equals closure of A complement. Second one is if A is a subset of B then A closure is a subset of B closure and A interior is a subset of B interior. Third one is if S equals A minus B then S interior equals A interior minus B closure. So you see closure over B, not interior. Okay, A interior minus B closure. It is not difficult to prove that closure respects union and interior respects intersection like this. However, in general, we only have one-way traffic as far as closure respecting intersection and interior respecting union is concerned. What is the boundary of A in X? It is boundary of A in X is given by set theoretic difference between A closure and A interior which is same as A closure intersection A complement closure. Okay, Notation is like this BDA. Clearly boundary of A is a closed subset of X. Okay, Intersection of two closed subset is closed. Also a union boundary of A is A closure. So, in fact, A interior union boundary of A becomes A closure. And if you write A union boundary of A, you will not get anything extra because 
a interior is containing a contained in a closure so this is also correct we are going to use this equality later on so i have written like this and also boundary of a equals boundary of a complement which follows clearly from here note that boundary of a has empty interior if the set a is either open or closed in x this is because if a is open then boundary of a equals a closure minus a okay because a interior is same as a and so boundary of a interior equals a closure interior minus a closure which is empty set because a closure interior is contained in a closure on the other hand if a is closed then boundary of a equals a closure minus a interior that means a minus a interior so boundary of a interior equals a interior minus a interior closure okay and again a interior is contained in a interior closure so this is also empty set now we are in a position to prove our main result so this is our non trivial problem if the sets a and b are open in x then a closure interior intersection b closure interior equals a intersection b closure interior now here one side is trivial okay left hand side clearly contains right hand side why note that a closure intersection b closure contains a intersection b closure just now we have seen this one and so if you write interior take interior of both sides so a interior of left hand side contains interior of right hand side but interior respects intersection therefore left hand side becomes this and right hand side is this so this one side we have this side is trivial this continuity is trivial for the other direction put s equal to difference between a closure interior intersection b closure interior minus a intersection b closure okay so you are not writing interior here just writing closure so that s becomes an open set clearly s is an open set in x and s contains s is contained in a closure intersection b closure minus this okay because if you don't write interior here it will be a bigger set and this one equals this one because a closure equals a union boundary of a and b closure equals b union boundary of b so this is equal and this one if we distribute this intersection over union becomes like this so it will be a intersection b which we have not written because we are subtracting a intersection b closure other things we are writing a intersection boundary of b b intersection boundary of a and boundary of a intersection boundary of b we want a bigger set so we are not writing this difference also so in result uh, we get s is a subset of this bigger set let us denote this containment by star so s is a subset of this this is our star since a and b are open in x we have a intersection boundary of a and b intersection boundary of b both are empty sets why because boundary of a equals a closure minus a therefore its intersection with a is empty similarly boundary of b is b closure minus b so its intersection with b is empty therefore from star we have s intersection a is contained in boundary of b so because of the presence of a here so other two terms so if you take s intersection a here this will not contribute anything because a intersection boundary of a is empty this will not contribute anything because a intersection boundary of a is empty so s intersection a will be contained only in this in particular in boundary of b that's what is written here similarly this one is contained in boundary of a 
but we also have boundary of A and boundary of B uh, that is boundary of A interior and boundary of B interior both are empty sets okay we also have this empty set this is also empty set why because A, A and B are open sets we have seen earlier that if A and B are open then boundary of A and boundary of B has empty interior so here this boundary of A and boundary B have em have empty interior. That means it cannot contain any non-trivial open set. But S is open, A is open, so this is a open set, so it cannot be non-trivial. So s therefore, since S is open in X, we have S intersection A and S intersection B, both are empty sets. Thus, from star we get S contained in boundary of A intersection boundary of B. Okay. The other parts of star that is A intersection boundary of B and B intersection boundary of A will not contribute anything. Because S, have, S has nothing common with A and B. But once again interior of this boundary of A intersection boundary of B is equal to interior respects intersection. So, it is this and both boundary of A and boundary of B have empty interior. So, this is an empty set. So, this is an this right hand side here has empty interior. So, it cannot contain a non-trivial open set. And here our S is open. So, it has to be trivial trivial set, empty set. Hence, we have S equal to empty. What does it mean? This means that this is our S. So, this is an empty set. That means this part A intersection, inter A closure interior intersection, B closure interior contained in A intersection, B closure and therefore it is because it, this left 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 hand side is an open set it will be contained in interior of right hand side and therefore we have proved the other direction also so this completes the proof of our main result if you like this video then please subscribe and share my channel for more of such videos thank you